security headache as Meghan Markle plans to leave baby Archie in Canada while she joins Prince Harry in the UK at an extra cost of up to £50,000. The Duchess of Sussex plans to leave her baby son Archie in Canada when she returns to the UK this week, causing an expensive headache for her police protection commanders. Metropolitan police officers guarding them and Prince Harry have arranged major security operations in both nations, at huge cost to the British taxpayer. Meghan, 38, is due to join Harry, 35, for three engagements in Britain before they step down from royal duties on March 31. Canada, which has contributed towards the cost of protecting them since they moved to Vancouver Island last November is withdrawing cover because of the couple's change in status. This means the bill for providing round-the-clock protection for the family will fall entirely on British taxpayers. Experts say the Sussex's decision to live abroad, as well as their insistence on retaining their official police protection, will see the bill for guarding them rocket, and prove a huge strain on manpower. The extra security cost of keeping nine-month-old Darcy in Canada without his parents this week could be £50,000, the Sun on Sunday reported yesterday. It is also likely to prove a huge disappointment to the Queen and senior royals, who haven't seen him for months. Archie is seventh in line to the throne, but has not spent any meaningful time with his grandparents or cousins, according to one royal insider. Harry and Meghan will fly back to Canada after the Commonwealth Day service on March 9, and their Buckingham Palace office will close on April 1. Archie will reportedly stay in Canada during Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's UK trip. The news will be disappointing for the Queen. Prince Harry has already returned to England to wrap up his official royal duties, and Duchess Meghan is due to arrive shortly. But royal fans hoping to catch a glimpse of the couple's son. Baby Archie, will reportedly be very disappointed. The Times reported, Meghan is leaving Archie in Canada for this trip. The publication continued, when the Duchess of Sussex returns to the UK from Canada for a final round of engagements with Prince Harry, who arrived last week, she is expected, again, to leave behind their nine-month-old son, just as the couple did in January. And even though royal fans are bound to be disappointed about Archie's absence, apparently the decision has hit Queen Elizabeth the hardest. Reportedly, according to the Times, the news will be disappointing for the Queen and the royal family, who are understood to be very sad that they have seen so little of Archie since his birth. Meghan and Harry have already made it clear that Archie's safety is their priority. In a statement on the couple's website, which detailed the changes taking place once the Sussexes stepped down as senior royals, they revealed, it is agreed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will continue to require effective security to protect them and their son. While we won't see Archie in March, we look forward to future appearances by the little royal. Royal Bynus Queen is very sad Meghan Markle will leave son Archie in Canada during UK visit with Prince Harry this week. The Queen is said to be very sad by the news Meghan Markle may not bring baby Archie to the UK with her this week. While Meghan and Prince Harry carry out their last round of royal engagements, they are not expected to give any glimpse of their nine-month-old son. He is thought to be remaining in Canada, with a nanny and Meghan's pal Jessica Moroni, when Meghan flies over to join her husband, who arrived in the UK last week. The Sunday Times reports the 93-year-old monarch and Prince Philip, 98, are disappointed they are unlikely to see their great-grandson. They first met him when he was two days old at Windsor Castle, but have not seen much of him since. He hasn't been in the UK since last year, with his last official sighting as a photo posted on the Sussex Royal Instagram account on New Year's Eve. The cost and logistics of leaving Archie behind will cause a headache for royal police, we reported last night. Officers will have to divvy up roles to guard Meghan in London and her son in Vancouver. The decision to leave Archie behind is likely to add up to £50,000 to the runaway royal's ever-mounting security bill. A royal insider said, Meghan's London jaunt is proving a real headache. It's an expensive time just when the costs of looking after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are under scrutiny. Counting the cost Last week, 
Canadian police said they would stop assisting with security when the couple stepped down as working royals on March 31. It means Harry and Meghan's pound 20 million a year security bill looks to fall squarely on the taxpayer-funded Met Police. The couple's team of about six royal protection officers cost taxpayers £600,000. This goes on salaries, overtime, overseas allowance, pensions, flights and accommodation. Costs will rise greatly when the couple are permanently abroad. It's an expensive time just when the costs of looking after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are under scrutiny. An internal memo predicts the couple will need at least 12 officers to cover them on trips, which are often made apart. Our source said, next week we'll demonstrate the colossal challenges and sums involved when Harry and Meghan are in London needing security just as much as Archie. It's as much as another £50,000 to what's already being run up. But none of that will matter to senior royals who are despondent at not seeing the baby for so long. Harry, 35, and Meghan, 38, believe they are legally entitled to year-round police protection and appear unwilling to pay for it. The couple's final official engagement is expected to be Commonwealth Day with the Queen at Westminster Abbey on March 9. A spokeswoman said, we don't comment on their schedule. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will reportedly not bring Archie along on their UK trip. Since the beginning of 2020, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have decided to step back from their royal duties and drop their HRH titles and the word royal from their charitable work. They are living in Vancouver, where they reportedly spend their time hiking and hanging out with their nearly 10 month old son, Archie Harrison. This week, the couple will be back in the UK together for their last round of royal engagements, but Archie will not be coming along with them, the Sunday Times says in a report. Archie, the Times adds, has not been back to the UK at all in 2020. He and his parents left Britain at the end of 2019 for a long holiday in Vancouver, where Archie saw Meghan's California-based mother, Doria Ragland. Although both Meghan and Harry have traveled for brief periods this year, their son has reportedly not been back to the country where he was born. Per the publication, the royal family, including the Queen, is very sad that they haven't gotten to see much of Archie since his birth. Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip met their eighth great-grandchild after he was born in May but did not attend his christening in July because of a previously scheduled trip to Sandringham. In their defense. They didn't attend the christening of William's youngest child, Louis, in 2018, either. The most senior royals are in their 90s, and the Queen still keeps a busy schedule, after all. While in the UK, Meghan and Harry will be attending the Commonwealth service at Westminster Abbey on March 9, per the Queen's request. Their reported decision to leave Archie at home during this final round of public appearances lines up with what the couple has said is one of their main focuses right now. Archie is the priority, a source told People last month. It's very much still about taking care of him and putting the family first. He's a happy kid, he loves to laugh. Archie and Harry have such a good time together. And Meghan is a great mom. She's very much about tending to him. They are trying to live their life as regular parents.